My name is Lynthia Reef and I am a Master in Occupational Therapy student. I chose USC because firstly it's my alma mater, I did do my undergrad here, but also from my experience of doing my undergrad here, I have been exposed to lecturers that are passionate but also very caring, so definitely one of the pluses of doing my master's here in USC. Um, I chose occupational therapy more like it chose me. Um, a few years back, I had an experience with cancer and after having major surgery, I could barely do anything. I was just a 20, early 20 something year old and you know, 20 something year old is literally at the peak of their life. Wanted to do everything and uh, I felt like I couldn't do anything. I literally couldn't get up in the morning by myself. I couldn't go brush my teeth by myself. I couldn't even wear heels, and for me, that's, that's a big thing, all right? <laughs> so, um, luckily, my sister, my older sister, was doing occupational therapy. She was an occupational therapy student right here at USC, and uh, she was doing her rehab, adult rehab um, program, well, field work, and she used those skills that she learned to actually rehabilitate me right there at home. And that's where I was like, you know what? This is something that I'm pretty sure a lot of people need. A lot of people who couldn't care to admit it, as young as me or as old as my grandmother will need. And I think I could make it a difference. So hence, after my experience, I decided to choose occupational therapy. I would say actually doing my community-based project um, in South. So I, I was actually working along with some older adults to put on an eight week community project. And I'll just highlight that last week of that eight weeks. Um, we had a family and reminiscence day where they got to reminisce on their life and what they used to do and used to be. And during that time, after that eight weeks, I was seeing these clients go from not doing anything to being so bubbly and sharing everything about themselves and how excited they got when they spoke about them being runners in the past, them cooking for the whole community, all of those things. That was definitely a memorable <laughs> a moment in um, during my tenure, <laughs> my OT tenure. Yeah. Greatest challenges, there were a lot. <laughs> I'll admit that, um, however, um, there was one semester that was particularly difficult for me. Um, we had like seven courses. We actually did an overload that semester because um, of some lecture issue. So we did seven courses rather than the usual five courses. And now I'm a full-time worker and full-time student. So committing my time to both literally made me sick. <laughs> my blood pressure was in like 200s, couldn't talk for a bit, that kind of thing. So um, I would have missed like one entire week of school because of course I had to recover from that. And in our program, you miss one week, you basically miss an entire month. So <laughs> having to catch up on that, I actually had the lecturers who, like I would have mentioned, are the most caring people ever. And um, one lecturer actually was like, pause on one of my courses. I was doing like three courses with her. Um, she's like, pause on one of my courses. Do all your other courses. You cannot be a perfectionist right now. Do all your other courses, get it done. And we'll resume once you can. And that actually helped me to get back to where, exactly where I needed to be in the semester. And by the end of the semester, I actually came out with all eight. So yeah. <laughs> So one of my major achievements here at USC during my tenure um, would have been, um, along with the rest of my colleagues in my class, where we started a student-run clinic 
here. Um, we actually got to start the thing from the very scratch. So putting a mission together, aim, all of that. And uh, being able to schedule clients. So it was like we actually started our own business. So um, we got to work as actual OTs. Yes, along with our lecturers, but we got to do everything on our own with the guidance. So I think that was a major achievement for us. Um, being OTs, I mean, technically st still students, but definitely being OTs and being able to help our communities for those who were not able to, to get those services otherwise. Mm. <laughs> okay, I would say um, this degree had a lot to do with leadership. And um, so, like I said, we started the student-run clinic, so we were founders, um, but we are also executive members. Um, also, my the project, community-based project that I got to put on, that put me in a position to be a leader, um, but while also being able to work along with a team, you know, be a professional in, in the end. So I think that my USC experience has prepared me to be the leader that I will be expected to do to be able to advocate for myself and for clients in the future. So the theme, Determined Mind and Minds and Boundless Future, helps me to reflect on my three years um, during this program and reflect on all the ups and downs that, that I would have been through um, I have to say that there were a lot of blood, sweat, and there was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that went into the program, and um, because of that, I think I can I can definitely call myself a disarranged mind, and um, it has helped me to become more passionate about what I truly want to do, and. Uh, because of the determination that I have put into getting to this stage of, of my life, my career, I think that there is nothing that can stop me when it comes to my future. I expect that many doors to open and even open some doors of my own um, in the future. So yeah, determined mind, boundless future. So to the future graduating class of USC, I want to encourage you and remind you that no matter what you go through, that once God started something in you, he will, he will finish it with you. Um, he will give you exactly who and what you need to complete this degree to the end. So all the best. My name is Lynn Therese and I am a proud member of the class of 2024 and I am USC Strong. <laughs>